activism left by struggle stalwart Albertina Sisulu. Well, this is according to Energy Minister Jeff Radeba, the keynote speaker at the centenary church service of Mama Sisulu in Soweto. A number of activities took place in the area to commemorate the day. The day started early with the laying of a wreath where Mama Sisulu is buried at Chris's Cemetery. Family, friends and her comrades in attendance. From here, it was the Holy Cross Church in Soweto. The church was very much part of the Sisulus. Minister Hadebe led the proceedings. We are here today because of the heroic role of Mama Sisulu and her generation of valiant fighters. It is an important occasion because we emphasize that we need to know where we come from so that we can better understand where we are today in order to see a better and envisage a better tomorrow. Mama Sisulu's comrades spoke of a committed person while her family remember her as being very disciplined. She was the first person to serve a 90-day detention. So she had a great deal of courage, but she was an incredible organizer. And the strength of her organizing capacity lay in the fact that she knew that one doesn't organize people from somewhere else. You organize from in the community and build outward. Her legacy will be felt and continue for, for a long time. Uh, and that, that gives me some comfort that, um, you know, there is a seed that has been sown. But the pain remains that um, she, she had a very raw deal. She was quite strict, but caring and loving, um, and instilled a great deal of discipline in us, uh, but with, with care nonetheless. The nearby Holy Cross crash was also refurbished in honor of Mama Sisulu, who is known to have loved children. Then, a symbolic walk from the Sisulu house to Shandi Clinic, where she worked for many years. Mzandi Limbej, SAPC News, Soweto. Well, in honor of Albertina Sisulu, the country continues to remember and commemorate her through various events. Uh, one such event was the Albertina Sisulu Walk. For more on this and the build-up to the celebrations, we are now joined by SABC reporter Mangal Bagunu, who joins us now in studio. A very good evening to you, Mangal Bagunu. Just take us through uh, the build-up of the celebrations and, of course, uh, that walk that took place. Well, certainly, Shante, it's been an eventful day, as you'll recall, that uh, it started as early as 7 o'clock this morning, and that uh, ceremony at uh, the cemetery where Mama Albertina Sisulu was buried this morning, uh, roots were laid there by the family, and of course, it moved then to the Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Soweto, where that uh, keynote address was delivered by the Minister of Energy, Jeff Khatebe, and of course, all of them paying tribute to the work and the dedication that Uma Albert Sisulu gave in the fight against apartheid, and more importantly, though, uh, the selfless work that she did even after uh, the, 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 the new democratic dispensation, having served uh, through her Albertina Sisulu Foundation to help those who are underprivileged and also continuing to also uh, try to encourage women to also be better in society. But of course, following the, those events, we then had a symbolic walk that took place and that walk, of, of course, heading to uh, the Shanti Clinic where Uma Albertina Sisulu worked for a number of decades with uh, Dr. Abu Bakr Asvant. And of course, uh, that's where we went past the Orlando Children's Library, which the Sisulu family also founded as part of um, Uba U Walter Sisulu's birthday, his uh, 80th birthday in 1992, when he said that his wish was not to get presents, but to do something for the community. And therefore, we went we were taken on a tour to see exactly the kind of humanitarian work that it does to uplift the, the, the community as well as uh, those underprivileged children there. So that also, uh, uh, after that, following that uh, visit there, we then went to the clinic itself uh, where Mama Albertina Sisulu worked. And then the last visit was at the uh, Albertina Sisulu School for the Disabled Children, which is one of the projects that she also spearheaded to try and assist those children who uh, have special needs. Let's just talk about uh, some of the speakers that have been paying tribute and honoring uh, Mama Albertina Sisulu and uh, their commitment that they've been saying that she had in championing against women's rights and how pas passionate she was about that. Indeed, I think speaker to speaker, uh, all what, come, uh, what came out is really uh, what she stood for 
resilience, courage, integrity. That's what came out in most of the speakers, especially I remember the speech of Umama uh, Sophia de Brain, who's also in herself a struggle veteran, saying that the likes of Mama Albertina Sisulu, the likes of their generation, they were the generation who were asked to jump. And when asked to jump, they'll ask how high. They didn't do it for themselves, they didn't do it for the glory, but they did it in order to make the lives of uh, the future generations better. And she said that they didn't even ask for a reward. They wouldn't ask, uh, if I jump, what would I get? And she says that's what the modern generation will ask, what would I get if I jump? She says the likes of Mama Albertina Sisulu would go there relentlessly and uh, they will sacrifice their all in order to fight for a just cause. And she says this is an example that we should emulate as uh, future generations to say that we too should uh, have selfless service to others. Definitely. We thank you very much uh, for giving us some of the details around that. Manuel Bamkunu for uh, SABC News. Well, uh, one such individual who has also been uh, sharing her views on uh, Mama Abotina Sisul and her contribution, ANC NEC member Nomvula Mokonyane, has described Mama Abotina Sisulu as a woman who had a vision and determination. Mokonyane says that Ma Sisulu used every platform to deal with the challenges she was facing. The minister says that there is a lot about Ma Sisulu that people have not been told 